When I tell people I'm a beekeeper, um, I think their first reaction is, are you joking? <laughs> the average age of a bee farmer in the UK is about 66, if not more. So they're a bit surprised, but then they're, they're interested. They've got a lot of questions they want to ask. You've got people that have got photos of bees that they've seen in the garden. They want you to identify them. So yeah, it's generally a really nice reaction. <laughs> The Rouse um, Be A Bee Farmer scheme, at the moment it's for 16 to 24 year olds. It's aiming to get young people with any amount of experience trained up with a host bee farmer so they can eventually set up their own bee farm and help increase the amount of hives and honey production in the country. The best thing for me about being a beekeeper is definitely getting to spend a lot of time outside in the summer. The hive here in the grounds at the Natural History Museum is definitely one of the better places that I've got hives in London because the garden here has got a lot of really good plants for bees. My favourite things about bees themselves, well they're definitely they're sort of very hard working and cooperative. So you've got bees that start off when they first emerge from their cell, they'll do jobs inside the hive, like cleaning, storing honey and pollen, and then they sort of work their way up to guard bees, mortuary bees that fly off with all the dead bees, and then eventually they become a forager for sort of the last six weeks or so of their life. And they can go for up to six kilometre radius from the hive, and they'll just map out everything and they can then come back to the hive and communicate this information to the other bees in the dark by sort of an interpretive dance if you will. The type of dance they do, the number of rotations, how vigorously they dance, it all communicates how good a source of nectar or pollen they've found and exactly where it is. So about a third of your plate of food has come from things pollinated by bees, so fruits, vegetables, even crops that go to animal feed, so meat as well can come from pollination services provided by honeybees. We really need more young people on the scheme to take over from, from bee farmers when they retire. And it's just such an amazing and important job to do.